Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to ask that you draw your attention to the dance. Okay. Rick, thank you. A beautiful, beautiful talk. And you took my joke about the uh, cake and the tears. Hello, everybody. First question, is there an app for this? It's my first time. So welcome, newlyweds. Come on. Take the least. Welcome, newly minted Makatuna, Val and Rick. New and in some cases very old and dear friends. Robert St. Clair, fourth grade, Barn Art School. Where are you? Robert, stand up. And Peter Abel, first grade, PS9. Peter from Israel, somewhere on the premises. Hi, Peter. Thank you. Shut up. Okay. It's great to be here. And speaking of here, let me give the first proverbial shout out to a lady we all know and love. A lady who's been like a mother to me. In fact, she is my mother, Grandma Eva. And makes esteemed grandma. Okay. We say Grandma Eva does not act her age, which is a wonderful thing. And in fact, not only does she not act her age, she does not know her age. But she came here on a ship in 1912, and she was a few years old then. So, uh, suffice it to say, we love you and wish you a second chance on to Grandma Eva. Give it up. And speaking of giving it up for special people, Marsha and Grandpa Irving, where are you? Over there. 60 years. 60 years together. Talk about a great pair of role models for Nate and Elise. Not sure what the secret is, but if we could bottle it or get an app for it, we would make a fortune. So mazel tov to Grandma uh, Marsha and Grandpa Irving. You've all seen the movie The King's Speech. Have you seen the movie The King's Speech? Well, we have our own royalty here. We've got the Queen Mum, that's Grandma. We've got the Prince and Princess, Nate and Elise. And there is a bit of a fairy tale story in what's gone on here because um, a fairy tale is a story that's a little bit unbelievable, a little bit far-fetched. And of course, I'm referring to the story that's on your website. It's on your website, and Karen, my bride, has said, Jeff, she's admonished me, Jeff, this is not the time or place to be critical of Nate and Elise, but I'm sorry, I must be honest, I must tell the truth. Now, according to that website, they were two 20-year-olds, and they met at med school, and they stayed friends, study group buddies, for some years, and then, quote, started dating. Okay, if you believe that, we have a stretch wedding limo waiting for you, but dear Elise, welcome to our family. What can I say? From the POG's POB. Parents of the groom's point of view. You have got it all. Nate, to us you have hit the trifecta. Smart, pretty, and Jewish didn't hurt. Okay, check, check, check. A doctor? Is there a quadfecta to speak of? I don't know. But there is more. There is more. A beautiful, kind heart. And a dedicated healer. We are so happy to call you our daughter. This is where I might start crying, so let me go on from here. And the gold ones. Hey, they're getting the same deal we are, so I don't have to feel so bad. I'd be embarrassed if it was, you know, kind of an unequal trade. We say, welcome to our new daughter. And by the way, the fighting with Reba and Jenna will start as soon as you get back from your honeymoon. Because you're going to have these new sisters to deal with, Reba and Jenna who came back from Argentina. She brought some steak. You're going to have it later during the dinner. Thank you, Jen. So we have been getting to know Val and Rick over the years as part of the wedding process and getting to be very fond of them. Val as the ultimate party planner. Rick, come on, for Val. She, this is mainly Val. Let's hear it. And Rick, music connoisseur par excellence with a great band back there. Thank you very much, great band. But above and beyond these details, these are warm and compassionate 
and caring human beings. FYI, four out of five people reading this review found it helpful. So. Okay, so we left out on the market soda. Let's keep going. This is a beautiful love story, as Grandma Eva would say for sure. And I've been thinking about their story, the Nate and Lee story, maybe one day becoming a musical. Because they might have said, as an overture, uh, wouldn't it be loverly? And uh, Elise might have said, with a little bit of luck, there might be some enchanted evening, etc., etc. So, Nate, what did Nate do when he felt that might happen, that there might be some real interaction between Elise and himself? He did what every Margolis man does at such a critical juncture. He took a trip, he went to Mexico for a year. That was the intermission. But when he came back, uh, let's say they all felt it was kismet, and Elise dreamed I could have danced all night. But she was doing a 36-hour call, and uh, that meant she was not available. They did finally get together! And with apologies to my fair lady, and Messrs. Lerner and Lowe, Maestro, could I have an arpeggio? I'm going to ask you to all join in the last chorus, all right? To Nate and Elise. They've gotten married just this evening, dressed up and looking mighty fine. Under the chupa, say in the brooka, gee, these kids are doing fine. Rabbi and Rick men at the ready, now pronouncing you are man and wife. Parents are belly, a story worth telling, for high and have a happy life. One day it's Sophie, their eyes can meet. Next thing you know, Nate swept her off her feet. Ah! Well, not exactly. I have to digress. Because meeting in class at Sophie Davis, friendship didn't blossom one from day one. Some predilection, hey, see my dissection, but harbingers of things to come. They were so perfect, no need to fake. Just like the figures perched atop this cake. Everybody join me. They've got married just this evening. Dressed up and looking mighty fine. I do a flipper. Say in the front. Gee, these kids are doing fine. We love that. Now, I have a young lady who has one minute Waving me off. Woo, let's dance. All right, let's party. Thank you.